Hey guys, so today we are gonna be filming a cooking with mama. What are we making today, mama? I told her I have a recipe of uh, food. It's called tahchin. Crispy rice on the outside. Yeah. And has uh, stuff in, inside, like a cake. So it's pretty much like a big old tahdik dish. Dish. You guys has, will see. It has a stuff inside. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. So mama is about to tell you guys all the ingredients. The mean, the mean is a chicken you can do with meat. Even you can do it vegetable, veggie, or mm. really people uh, vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So if I you guys saw... want a veggie dish, just scratch out any meat. But if you want meat, you can do chicken or any type of meat that yeah. you like. This is chicken. I soak with uh, salt and vinegar. Some people do with lemon. I like with vinegar. Because this take the smell of uh, the, mm -hmm. the meat. We have eggs, three eggs. We we use just the yolk, mm -hmm. the saffron, the rishk, mm -hmm. yogurt, olive oil, and we have the rice. I put water on the. Two. You know how it, we cook the rice. Always yeah, we, we made the, the rice, rice like a yeah. million times on this channel, but we have the water boiling right now for yeah. the rice. This is saffron. Saffron is a herb. It's too expensive. You cannot find it anywhere. You can find it in Middle Eastern stores. And you put in the, in the wa hot water, you boil the water and put the saffron and put it in the, what you want, the cup or, I have the, this one, teapot. And I, I How much water would you think that is? Like a cup of water? Mm, yeah. Yeah, this around is too a cup much. of water. I, I put too much here. Yeah, you don't have to put a lot. Just yeah. make sure it's enough to um, cover much. your entire amount of rice, however much rice you want to make. Now, we start here. We wash the, the chicken. Okay, so now Mama is going to Cut up the chicken. Just take the the fat. Mm. And you're using chicken breast, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just putting it in the pot. Mm We're just boiling the chicken now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I cut the chicken, I wash it good, I put some onion, and now I leave it to boil. And the rice is boiling. We haven't put any rice in it. It's just water boiling right now. The rice, because we want to make it tahchin, mm -hmm. we don't cook it uh, all the way. All the way, have mm -hmm. to be medium. Because we are now, after that, we put it in the oven. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you do it all the way cook, it will be soggy. With so olive oil? Yeah. Okay. Always when you cook rice, put oil. Mm -hmm. We don't need the rice, rice to be to sticky. Stick, yeah. I washed the rice three hours ago, maybe more, four hours. Mm -hmm. When you soak the, uh, the rice with the salt, a lot of salt, mm -hmm. it will give you good quality of rice. Mm -hmm. Now we have to take out the rice. Restaurant, we overnight we soak it. Overnight. So the longer you soak the rice in salt water, the better quality of rice it becomes. Mm -hmm. Now. Once you see some rice pieces floating up top in the water, that means your rice is almost ready. So that's mm -hmm. when you check it. How do you know it's ready if it's 
Yeah, I do too. I like this. Kind of like pasta, right? Mm -hmm. mm. We just want it medium cooked because, like Mama said, we're going to be cooking it in the oven later. I think everybody knows to cook rice because I did many times. Yeah. yeah. I think every cooking with Mama has been with rice. But rice is a Persian dish staple. We do put some water like this. That's why we put a lot of salt. Mm. Take the water out. Mm -hmm. okay. We have to leave this to be cool. It needs to cool down? Yeah, cool down because mm -hmm. uh, we want to add egg. Oh. You put the egg, and it's hot or cooked immediately. Oh. We have to put it to cool down. Got it. So this is what our chicken looks like. We're gonna leave this in for like 30 minutes until it's about cooked. And then the foam on top, Mama was saying that we're gonna end up taking that off once a lot more foam covers the whole top. Make sure you just remove as much as possible. Obviously, there's still going to be some left there, but just as much as possible. This is how much we ended up taking out. Adding uh, turmeric. It's called zarchuba in Farsi. We use this a lot in our dish. We also added some black pepper. This is saffron and this is optional. I want to talk about the chicken. <laughs> the chicken is cooked. So we let it boil on a low heat setting for about an hour. Mm -hmm. So it looks we like... Cool, leave it uh, cool down. Do we keep the onion in there? No, we don't need the water in the onion. Just oh, so we, we just use the onion for flavoring. Yeah. Alright guys, so mom took out all of the chicken from the boiling water. And now she's just shredding up the chicken and putting it in a bowl so we can cook it in just a second. Okay, so here we have the shredded chicken. And now Mama is about to make the zedesh. We have the zedesh right here. So the pan that we're gonna be using today is this non-stick pan from Mizen. Mama loves this pan, right? Yeah, I like the uh, stuff is heavy. Yeah, it's when really it's heavy. When it's heavy, you, uh, it's not burning the food. I like it. Yeah, it's a better pan. Add the zedesh for one. The zedesh don't put high fire, see? Mm, because this burn fire. is quick. Yeah, wood. Little bit like this. Mm -hmm. Some people add some sugar. I don't like sweet. Some sugar and the zarash. Mm. It's optional. If you like sweet, but uh, maybe a teaspoon sugar in it. Zarash cooks super yeah. fast, now guys. To saute the chicken. Our shredded chicken. Yeah. So now Mama went ahead and added the chicken. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about these Misen nonstick pans. So the Misen nonstick pans have a plasma primer that helps their nonstick coating last longer. A lot of nonstick pans actually don't offer that, so that's really great about these pans. As Mama said, the pans are thicker. So it does allow even distribution of heat while you're cooking. The coating that they use is the most scratch and abrasion resistant nonstick finish. Also the size of this nonstick pan is 10 inches. A lot of skillets say they are 10 inches, but they are actually eight inches usually. This is an actual 10 inches, which gives you more area to cook with. Now we're just gonna be adding the zedesh as well. So now we just have the shredded chicken, the, the zedesh and inside. saffron. Some people do a uh, top when they on them, top. Yeah. Oh, so you like to when put it ready, actually ready inside to the eat. Chain. They put on top, but I like it inside. Oh, nice. Another thing that I really love about these Misen nonstick pans is that you can use it on any stovetop, induction, electric, gas. The special coating that they use lasts two and a half times longer than your regular nonstick pans. I told you, I like the stuff is heavy. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. When you cook, it's not burn the food. 
Yeah. I know it's not sticky, not stick in it. Yeah. But the, the important thing when you put the food is not burn quick. Yeah. You have time to saute or do everything. Yeah. So Mizan is Mama Kavari approved. If you guys want to get your own cookware, I do have a link in my description box. Also, if you use my promo code Yasmin, you will get 20% off your first order. Now we need just the yolk. I don't know. You know this to do like this, see? Have to do like this. Mm -hmm. uh, you know this? Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you do it with one hand though? No. One hand? I think the one hand one is super impressive. Oh, you do it. Hand. I've do seen it? it. I've seen it on Food Network. Okay. How many eggs are we doing? Three. We have our mm. eggs. You see one? Ah, how you say it like this, huh? One hand. No, I've seen it on um, Food Network. Like they take the egg and I don't know how they do it. Ah, they go, they smash then, it, not to take the yolk. Smash it one hand. You have no, I see them like do something and it's just the yolk. Put some saffron in it. We've used saffron a lot in this dish. This is a saffron make uh, the yeah, smell of smell of the egg. Mm. Now we do the the yogurt. Put the yogurt. And how much yogurt would you say that is? Yogurt, how much? Uh, I had the three cups of rice. Each cup you have to put two. Two, two cups spoon. of yogurt. No, oh, two spoons spoon. of yogurt. Yeah, I have six spoons. You have to do it and put the oil. This is. Olive oil? Yeah. So we have three fourths of a cup of oil and six spoonfuls of yogurt. This is like you're baking a cake. Mm-hmm. What is that as a cake? This, oh yeah, it does kind of look like a cake. Yeah, a cake. Yeah. It's I like think, a rice cake. Yeah, the feeling is chicken. Mm. This is not a lot of oil. Now she said too much oil. Uh, oil. This is not because we have the rice now oil and the chicken. I put just a little bit of uh, butter. Mm -hmm. but we need some oil. Now we Beat the oil, uh, the oil and uh, yogurt. olive oil and uh, yogurt mm -hmm. like this. And now we add the egg yolks. Egg yolks with the saffron. Nice color, no? Mm -hmm. Mama's like, it's not yellow enough. I think it's yellow. Now we add the rice in it. Oh, nice. want to make sure that the yogurt is evenly distributed and also it's not clumpy. Now in the oven? Bake? Uh, 400. 400 degrees? Now the oven is preheating. Now we need uh, some butter to put, spread it around. Could you also use um, cooking spray? Mm -hmm. Butter probably makes it tastier, huh? What you like. Okay, now we put the rice. The rice. You have to do it even. Guys, so the bottom of this whole cake is gonna be tahdi. Can you just imagine how tasty this is gonna be? You have to press it.
Now we add the chilling chicken. chicken. This you can eat it with the yogurt, with salad. Mm -hmm. What you like? See? Good material. Mm -hmm. When you put it, you don't put it in the like this. The corners. Yeah, we have to put. Why is it gonna burn? Mm -hmm. Press good. Now we're gonna cover it up. Now mom was making little holes in the aluminum. Mm -hmm. So the tachine breathes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need it to breathe. Yeah. So an hour has passed and it is ready. Golden, crispy, oh At my gosh. At the bottom, yeah. Now mama wants to put it back in to when broil the top. a little bit crispy to be the Yeah, top. so we just turn on That's the broiler. Okay. okay, let's go in. So we turned on the broil. But we are so hungry. I know, we are. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, so we just took it out of the oven. The top broiled really nicely, and now mama's about to flip it, just like we a cake. to flip it. I don't know, when. Mm -hmm. we'll see. I can't. I'm not. We can do it, Mama. Wow, the bottom looks golden. <gasps> Perfect. Cake. It's a rice cake. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Now we're gonna go make some more zeresh for the top. You want to see inside, yeah? Mm -hmm. See? Ooh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah. This yeah. looks amazing. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to eat. Now we have to do some zeresh and put in the top. Mm. So now we're gonna cook more zeresh. Cook the zeresh for two seconds. Now mama's gonna top off the tachin. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that looks beautiful, mom. Wow. I am in awe. And it smells even better, you guys. Get it, mama. Mm -hmm. And guys, you can eat this with pretty much whatever you like. Just think about it as a rice and meat dish. You can have it with salad. I think we're going to have it with mastukhiyar because we have some leftovers yeah. from yesterday. Or you could just eat it by itself. It's totally up to you. Mm, hot sauce. Or hot sauce or any other type of sauce that you guys might like. All right, guys. So we're going to try Time our tahjid. dig in. Yes. And we're going to have it with mastukhiyar. We actually made Masu Khiyar in one of our other Cooking with Mama videos. I will link it for you guys if you guys want to see how we made it. But we just have this leftover from yesterday's dinner. So we're going to try it, Mama. Mama's going to sit down. She needs to sit down for this. Ready? Are we going to try it at the same time? Oh my God. Looks so good. A little bit of Masu Khiyar. One, two... Three. Um, mm. Wow, mama. So delicious. I love it. If you guys do try out this recipe, make sure you guys tag me on Instagram or let me know in the comments below. I'm always curious to see your guys' 
rendition of this. This is for you guys. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> and thank you so much to Mizen for sponsoring this video. And yeah, mm, Mama, next yeah. time. No, we need next time. We need the pot, uh, the, the pots, the, pot. <laughs> the other cookware. Also, guys, the knife that we used in today's video was also yeah, Mizen. Nice. It was a really nice. Even knife Baba, well. say where from? Where, where you got this? Baba knife. just walked in the kitchen. Was like, did you guys just buy this knife? I like it. So mm. the kitchenware is definitely Mama and Baba approved. Yeah. If you guys want to get your own set, and yeah, we're just gonna finish this off. Mm. Yeah. So ready to eat. Hope you guys okay. enjoyed this video. Thank you. See you next time. We'll see you guys Another next time. recipe. Yeah. Tell just me if you like it. Uh, if you cook it, please just let let us, us know. know. I'll, I'll show Mama. Or you guys can go send it to her. She has an Instagram as well. Yeah. All right, guys. If thank you, you go so much to for Persian uh, Persian restaurant, ask for tahchin. You guys saw it's super easy. It's like making a cake. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Easy, busy. I think I can make this on my own in, in Miami when I'm on Next time when I'm busy. I'll Which make part? it for you. Yeah, when you come to Miami, I'll make it for you. Okay. All right, guys, make sure Bye. you guys hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, loves. Thank you. Me and my girls done pulled up. You know what we gonna do. I took two shots of the liquor. One more round just on you. Yeah, like I, I'm moving. Keep moving. Be like them boys, them sugar. But I got my eye on you. Come and dance upon it, boy.